Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the continuation part of the in equivalent circuit of the three phase induction motor. So, in the three phase induction motor, when we are continuing the topic, that time we stop at this circuit. So, we will continue the circuit here. For the equivalent circuit analysis, this is the supply voltage V1 and the initial resistance is R1, this is the stator resistance, X1 is the stator reactance and it has only magnetizing component XM and it has the rotor resistance that is rotor is applied to primary side, the R2 will become R2 dash by S and it is the x2 dash so if we discuss the currents the current from the stator is the i1 and current to the no load branch is the i0 and current in the rotor circuit is i2 dash okay so we will discuss the each and every impedance and the current from here so for this to understand this just assume this complete part as Z1 and take this part is the Z2. Why Z2? The combination of resistors and inductor will give the impedance. Here also resistor and combination will give Z0. Just for example, take it as this is the Z3. The current flowing through the XM is the I mu. XM is the I mu. So first what is the value of this V1 from the circuit? So here the value of the V1 you know that I will take this Z1 and Z2 and Z3 Z equivalent. So directly write the I1 current equal the total voltage by total impedance. So I will write the I1 is nothing but V1 by Z equivalent v1 by z equivalent what is the z equivalent here so for example take this point a and b a and b a a b have the two branches this is the one branch reactance this is the one branch impedance right can i write z equivalent value yes so i will write z equivalent value equal the combination of these two impedances these two impedances this may be parallel actually z a b parallel with z 2 z a b parallel with z 2 z equivalent equal sorry z a b plus z 1 this is the complete equivalent circuit then what is the z a b what is the z a b z a b is nothing but these two are parallelly connected so i will write the Z A B impedance value equal to this is the one impedance R2 dash by S plus X2 dash into this is separate bands this is JXM YJ it is the reactance and both combination that is R2 dash by S plus X2 dash plus JXM JXM so this is complete JDAB. So generally I can write JDAB is like this. So the JDAB is nothing but can I write like this? This is RF assume as JXL. RF plus JXL. Total resistance and total reactance. What is RF represents? RF is nothing but generally the real part. Real part of JDAB simply what is xf or xl you can take the xf or xl so better to take xf xf is imaginary part of jdab simply this is the imaginary part of jdab so finally i can write again z equivalent you know that z equivalent equal z1 plus jdab Z1 plus JDAB. So I can write Z equivalent equal to simply Z1 is nothing but I can write R1 plus 
jx1 what about jdab jdab equal to rf plus jxf so complete live in flake z equivalent equal to complete real part that is r1 plus rf plus j into x1 plus xf x1 plus xf so therefore from this i will write the current value i1 equal to like this this is the v1 by z equivalent v1 by z equivalent so v1 value you know that v at an angle of 0 the z equivalent value you know that that value is i will write r1 plus rf plus j into x1 plus xf x1 plus x1 finally we will get the i1 is at an angle of minus phi 1 at an angle of minus phi 1 so in this generally what are the things he given is this v value is generally given in the problem when we are doing the problems and r1 value should be given we know that and we should calculate rf value and x1 value should be given and we should calculate xf value should calculate xf value so this is the final analysis of the equivalent circuit this is the final analysis of the equivalent circuit why we are doing this the problems is given in this model then we should follow this then we should follow this processor okay in this regard we should discuss one problem the problem is three phase four fold 50 h 400 volts induction motor have parameters in ohms referred as state r that is r1 equal 0.15 r2 dash equal 0.12 first we draw the thing that is so he given the r1 is resistance that value is the 0.15 and and x1 and x2 dash also so first we draw the and next we have only the parallel branch next we have the resistance next we have the some parallel branch and it is completed and it is completed yes this is the r1 and this is j.45 we can take it as x1 and he mentioned xm value that is j228.5 and R, this is r2 dash by s this is r2 dash by s what is this value can i write r2 dash by s value equal r2 dash he mentioned 0 0.12 there by slip value is 4 percent that is 0 0.04 so r2 dash by s value is can i write the directly 0 0.12 by 4 okay x2 dash he mentioned j.45 and this is the supply voltage he mentioned the 400 volts the 400 by root 3 this is the phase voltage these are the given things so what is the condition he find out first he is asked to find out the state or input second net mechanical power third the shaft torque when the motor is running with a slip 4% and the total fixed losses this is the problem here first write down the given things the given things is he given z1 z1 means this is the z1 so that is 0.15 plus j.45 what about z2 so this is the z2 z2 is j2.28.5 what about z3 z3 is r2 dash by s value is 3 so this is 3 plus j.45 okay so you know that z equivalent value directly we can write that value is z1 plus z a b z1 plus z a b you can find out the z a b z a b value how we will get the z a b this is a and this is the b both are parallel combination so we will do parallel combination for that we will get so one is j 2.5 the another is 3 plus j 
4 4.45 by 3 plus j 0.45 okay so so plus 0.45 plus 0.45 so by doing the characterization we will get that so by simplifying this we will get finally jdab directly i am writing that value is 2.87 plus j 0.74 so i will write this is the rf and we can take this is the xf rf and xf the finally we can write how we can write this is jdab only what is jd equivalent jd equivalent is you know z1 plus jdab you know the z1 value that is 2.87 plus 0.15 plus 0.45 plus uh, j.74 by doing the calculation so we are doing this we will get z equivalent value also that is 3.02 plus j 1.19 so from this we will find out the i1 value what is the i1 value how we can find out the i1 value so to get this i1 value voltage by impedance so here you know the voltage value that is 230.9 because nothing but 400 by root 3 the complete value is 3.02 plus j into 1.19 so we will get 71 at an angle of minus 21.5 degrees so from this we will write i1 magnitude that is 71 amperes and phase 5n equal 21.5 degrees and after that we will get the state r input how we will get the state r input the formula is root 3 times what is vl vl is 400 what is il is the 7 because i1 is 71 sorry this is the 71 and what is the cos cos is 21.5 because he mentioned the power factor also so by doing the thousand by doing that we will get the state r input that value is 45.71 watts and what is the air gap power so in the formulas we have the air gap power that is 3 i1 square rf by thousand because into the calculations we have 3 71 square rf is 2.87 by 1000 so we will get 43.4 kilowatts is the air gap power what is the grass mechanical power developed grass mechanical power developed is so p air gap power 1 minus slip so air gap power is 43.4 1 minus slip means 0.04 we will get 41.66 kilowatts okay what is the net power net power is we have to do the grass mechanical power developed minus rotational losses so we have losses is there the given losses is fixed losses 400 watts so by removing this we will get 41.26 kilowatts and the total efficiency we will write that is net power by state r input that is 45.71 by doing this we will get approximately 90.2 percentage of efficiency okay so this is the way to do the problem regarding the equivalent circuit analysis okay
this is the final conclusion of the equivalent circuit and this is the problem regarding the equivalent circuit i hope all of you understand the session thank you